This video is brought to you by CatBeast.com. Design your own custom snapbacks and hats. We are beast. I want the world. Yeah, I want the world. Yeah, I want it all. Said I want the world. Yeah, I want the world. I'm coming to get it. Hey, what's up, guys? Henry the Blazing here, and as you can tell by the title of the video today, we are going to be doing yet another all-time team squad builder. Now, if you guys do enjoy these videos, it's always appreciated that you do leave a like. The like goal for today's video, I don't want to aim for 20 million because that's just ambitious. So instead, we'll bring it down a little bit. Let's aim for 2,000 likes on this video, and you guys will be truly amazing. But yes, on our very first episode of the all-time squad builder, guys, we started off with the all-time. Chicago Bulls and we just barely managed to walk away with a win for those of you that haven't seen it make sure you go ahead and check it out but today ladies and gentlemen we've got quite the different team on our hands I'm talking about a team that's got one of the deadliest coaches if not the deadliest coach of all time I'm talking about a team that's got quite the lethal starting five for their all-time lineup ladies and gentlemen I'm talking about none other than the all-time San Antonio Spurs Green slipping, defended by Zephyrosia, it's Parker, he Aldridge with the screen, he resets it, Ginobili for the lead, yes, Manu! Here's Harden, Ginobili's on him, he's got Osha, and what a play by Ginobili! And boom, baby, as you can see, guys, in comparison to the all-time Chicago Bulls lineup, this lineup is looking lethal, ladies and gentlemen. At the starting point guard position, we've got none other than the Frenchman himself, the man that's got the bad wife and ex-wife. I'm talking about none other than Tony Parker. At the shooting guard position, he's actually rated as one of the top three Spurs of all time, hence him starting over Manu Ginobili, and that is going to be Galaxy Opal, George Gervin. On the all-time teams, he is actually the starting shooting guard, and that is why we went with that. At the small forward position, we've got none other than the finals MVP himself not just on the Raptors but also on the Spurs when they got their chip and that is Galaxy Opal Kawhi Leonard at the power forward position we've got the greatest power forward of all time also known as Tim Duncan Mr. Monotone and does not laugh at anything at the center position you guys know who this is the Admiral the biceps Caldy's dad I'm talking about Galaxy Opal David Robinson and all five of these players get Give us our very first Galaxy Opal starting five on an all-time roster. Now, off the bench, it is looking good. We got DeJounte Murray. He's not an all-time spur, but again, I asked you guys in the comment section below how you felt about me mixing all-time players and some current players, and you guys said you were definitely fine with that as long as I'm not overkill with it. So we got in an Amethyst point guard in DeJounte Murray. Didn't think that was overkill. At the shooting guard position, we got none other than the all-time sixth man. I think the greatest sixth man of all time, and that is Manu Ginobili. That's kind of why I wanted him coming off the bench. I feel like it would only be right with him being the greatest six man that I do that. Let's actually move him to the sixth position so it looks even better. At the small forward, we got Bruce Bowen. Him and Sean Elliott are going to be sharing the spotlight. At the power forward position, we got LaMarcus Aldridge. At the center position, we got Artis Gilmore. And then on the reserves, we got Johnny Moore and Danny Green for the all-time Spurs. And this is what makes up the whole roster. Now, for the most part, other than running into LeBron James and other weirdos at point guard, I think we should be able to handle everything. We do have that nice dynamic duo of Tony Parker and Tim Duncan on the starting lineup, so hopefully that can do some damage. Our bench, honestly, is not as bad as I thought it would be. Like, LaMarcus Aldridge and Artis are definitely going to be some great bigs off the bench. Same thing goes for DeJounte Murray, Manu Ginobili, and Bruce Bowen. That is all nice defense right there. And this whole team, essentially, is all defense, so only person to really worry about is Tony Parker right here but otherwise I think we should be able to walk away with a win with the all-time Spurs if this is your favorite team I want you to like this video up right now if this is not your favorite team you got to be liking this video up right now but uh, with that being said guys I think it's time to take this team online and see what they can do on the unlimited streets so without further ado boys and girls let's hop into a game and let's see what the all-time Spurs are all about let's get into it 
All right, and let's see what our matchup's looking like today. So he's got the D'Lo and Clay Thompson duo. He's also got Kawhi Leonard, Anthony Davis, and Hakeem Olajuwon. That's not a bad lineup, but I don't know if it's going to match up against this Opal 5. All right, boys and girls, here we go. Jump ball, and David Robinson is not winning it for us. I'm not sure how good this D'Lo Clay Thompson duo is. I've heard it's really nice, but again, let's see how he plays against us. All right, so he started the game off with a bucket. Let's see what this duo of Tony Parker and Tim Duncan is all about. I honestly haven't looked at even what these stats do. So a uh, pick and roll right to Timmy. This is a mismatch and a half right here. So uh, let's get in here and let's eat. Oh, go up, go up, go up. Easy bucket. Thank you. Uh, let's see. George Gervin, they're running hella random plays. So uh, let's go to Tony Parker back into Tim Duncan. Tim Duncan's going to be eating with all this mismatch. It's always about attacking that mismatch as that fadeaway goes down. Uh, oh, nice steal there by Tim Duncan. Uh, let's go to George Gervin and throw it up to D-Rob. I tried to throw it up to him. He's jumping. Easy dunk right there. Jab. You're leaving me way too open. Jab. Oh, I'm pulling this then. Not a green, but it's a bucket. Kawhi's got Hall of Fame Limitless, baby. Let's go to Tony here. Uh, swing it to D-Rob. If he leaves me wide open, I'm shooting it again. Uh, jab once again. Oh, I'm driving right through. Never mind. We spin in all the way. Oh, and one Admiral. You love to see it. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. This team is absolutely dominating right now. D-Rob converting the free throw, and we are up 10 points already. Uh, let's go right to Tony Parker. This man's signature is the floater, so I kind of want to try floaters, because I don't really use them in 2K this year. Oh, yeah. Floater alert. There it is. Easy bucket. Hall of Fame teardropper. That's the first time I've ever done a teardropper this year. Thank you. I'll take that to Kawhi. Oh, Timmy's got takeover. But Tony, go get open somewhere, please. Go get open. Thank you. Catch and shoot. Oh, that was a little too early. And it's still going down. All right. So Tony, he's known for hitting all the light leads. And just like that, our opponent has left the match. Right now, the Spurs, they're looking like they're absolutely dominating, man. Let's go into another game. All right. And on to game number two. This time, the lineup's definitely looking a bit tougher. Uh, he's got Lonzo Ball, Paul Pierce, LeBron James, Chris Webber, and Rudy Gobert. All around a solid lineup. Let's see what they can do against the Spurs. All right, let's get this game underway. Tony, you have those ankle breakers. Oh, he's stumbling. I'm going all the way on that one. Oh, I tried to spin off it, but I couldn't. Bro, we had Lonzo stumbling. That was hilarious. Uh, switch. Got him. Now I'm fading away. Not a green, but it's a bucket to start the game. All right, Tony Parker to George Gervin. Let's get this man going uh, behind the back. Oh, he's not playing on-ball defense. So this is how it's going to be. Tim, cut to the basket then. Catch and dunk. All right, Lonzo, ankle takers part two, I think so. Size him up, snatch back. Oh, I should have shot that, YOLO. Kawhi, step back, easy three right there. Bang, hey, let's go. All right, let's push the pace a little bit here. To Tony, oh, D-Rob's gonna be running to the basket. Get ready for that pass. D-Rob, what is he doing? Thank you. Oh, that's not gonna work. Swing it, swing it. Let's go into a pick and roll. Let me throw this man an alley-oop instead. I think that might look nicer anyways. Right over Lonzo, I think so. All right, so this guy's starting to go on a little bit of a run, not playing any on-ball defense. I see how it is. That's cool with me. Don't worry. Kawhi, catch and shoot. Not a green, but it's not a bucket. Hello, what is he doing, baby? All right, let's go to Timmy. Timmy's one person that's always reliable. Hit him with that post spin. There we go, and go up. Easy dunk. All right, so we got a five-point game on our hands here. We're not pushing it as good as we usually do. All right to Tony, right to Kawhi. Catch and shoot. Next time, please be out at the three-point line. Keep clapping up. He's running the pick and roll there with Chris Webber. Be ready for it. Thank you. Right to Tony. To a running Kawhi all the way. Putting it down in transition. Defense wins championships, baby. All right. I stupidly left him open for a three. Probably wasn't the smartest thing to do. Tony, catch the ball normally. How do you catch it like that? It doesn't make any sense. Uh, out to Timmy. Catch and shoot for Tim Duncan. Easy money. Thank you. I'll take that. Now let's get the second quarter started. Right to Timmy. Pump fake. I'm blowing right by. Get in the post. Get in the post. D-Rob out there. Swing it to Tony. Catch and shoot. Green beam to start off the second quarter. Oddly, our team is not playing as good a defense as I would like. We got to push the pace a little bit more here too. Uh, go into a pick and fade just so we can get the switch right there. Do you see how we don't switch? There. Now go to Timmy and let him sit in the post. We're all good here. Let him off ball as much as he wants. Easy post spin. Pump. There we go. Right to Tony. Catch and shoot. Is that going to work out? Yes, it is. Let's go. Keep off-balling me. Uh, let's go to Tony. Let's actually get Kawhi in the post. I noticed he has Bernard King. And Bernard, don't get me wrong, he's nice. But he can't guard that Hall of Fame post spin on Kawhi Leonard. Easy dunk right there. Good steal right there. There we go. Push it. Right to Ginobili. Keep running. Uh, snatch back. Oh, yeah. Pull it from deep. Green beam Manu Ginobili. 
Right to Tony. Uh, Tony, where are we going? Oh, yeah, right to Kawhi. Catch and shoot. That's an easy mid-range. That's an easy bucket. All right, so although it is a pretty close game, I think I'm going to go ahead and risk it and bring my bench back in here. I hope uh, we'll probably keep in like Kawhi Leonard or someone else who is at least a dominant scorer and see what the bench can do for us here because if it's still a close game and we get our starters, we're in for quite the journey. DeJounte Murray, only thing I'm going to need you to do, honestly, is play defense. Other than that, pick and pop offense with my boy LaMarcus. Get in the post. You got to love having that mismatch because even when he's off-balling, it is not going to work out for you. Good close out there by Kawhi. No chance that goes. Yo! Did you see how nobody reacted on that rebound? That's crazy. Out to Ginobili. Catch and shoot. Not a green. But it's a bucket. Thank you, my guy. All right, Kawhi. If you're going to be on the court, I'm going to need you to score regardless. So uh, let's hit him with an ISO. Oh, he's not even playing on-ball defense. Well, I mean, I guess that's fine. You asked for this. The Kawhi fadeaway is unguardable. Green bean. The defense. Oh, Kawhi. He's sending that way back. Alright guys, start of the third quarter. Kawhi's got takeover, so I don't mind keeping him in here for a while uh, behind the back. And let's hit him with that step back three, just like that. Green Bean, don't play around with my shot creator, baby. Nice rebound there by, yo, this Kawhi Leonard is a hooper. I've never really used him like that, and I do not regret putting him on this lineup. The king of, ahaha, uh ahaha, -huh, uh -huh, snatch back, ahaha, uh -huh, limitless range. Oh, oh, it went down. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. Uh, let's go back to DeJounte. Oh, Kawhi Leonard, you were finals MVP against LeBron, so this should be no problem. Right in the post, into that fadeaway, not a green, but it's a bucket. Ha <laughs> ha ha ha. Everybody stay clamping. Good defense, good defense. Make him pass it inside. Yo, this Kawhi is a clamp god alongside LaMarcus Aldridge. Ha 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 ha. I might, am I laughing it right? God damn it. We've now got our starters back in here. D-Rob protecting the rim as he should. You definitely love to see that. We managed to get the steal. I don't know how, but right to D-Rob. We driving. We stopping. I'm pulling because I can. Buckets. My boy Gervin still doesn't have a bucket. Let's hit him with that off-ball deodorant. Hit that screen. Catch and shoot. Oh, I forgot how nice that Gervin release is, man. Uh, let's go right to Tony Parker. Tony Parker. Snatch back. Oh, where's he going, baby? Euro step? Oh, I tried to Euro instead. He is drawing a foul, and we got some free throws in here. I think I got to sub Manu Ginobili back in here pretty soon. He is so fun to use. I'll probably bench Tony Parker for the fourth quarter, and we'll use Manu at point guard. It's only right that Manu gets a couple minutes, because I was having fun with him. What are we doing? Is he sending doubles? Actually, no. Let's go to Tim Duncan. Another man that's not getting enough love. The greatest power forward. Give him some respect. Easy bucket. Let's hit him with another Tony Parker floater if I can get right by him. Never mind. He's going to reach Lonzo. Ball has five fouls. That's how much he's been hitting that square button just to let you guys know. But hey, that's not stopping the TP man right here. Tony Parker, the French demigod. Easy free throws. I see Tony Parker there. He's off-balling on D-Rob. So let me get it to D-Rob and get this man a couple buckets too. I'm hitting you with every fadeaway possible with everybody if that's all you're going to do, my guy. Start of the fourth quarter. We got Ginobili in here. We got Bruce Bowen in here. We got Aldridge. We got everybody. I got to hit him with that freaking Euro step by... green but it's a bucket like i've been saying in his gameplay this card's off dribble is literally so broken get that rebound oh you know who i'm going to he's got the takeover you gotta be feeding him behind the back off the dribble again green bean manu ginobili all right and as you guys can see we go ahead we win this game pretty easily 76 to 47 the all-time spurs were an absolute nightmare to match up against man let's go ahead let's check out the box score and let's see how this team did
And as you guys can see, man, what efficiency from this team. Kawhi Leonard leading this team with 21 points, 3 rebounds, 3 for 4 from 3. Ginobili went off in that fourth quarter with his off-dribble threes, man. Tim Duncan was getting his buckets as well. Tony Parker was perfect from the field. I actually had no idea there. Uh, David Robinson was getting his own. Everybody on the team seemed to have scored a bucket except for DeJounte Murray and Artis Gilmore. But the thing is, Artis Gilmore, yes, he's an all-time spur, but he wasn't even really nice like that. If anything, I should have used the diamond version of Artis Gilmore to make it a little bit more accurate. And then DeJounte Murray, he's not actually an all-time spur, so I didn't really care to use him. Uh, Danny Green definitely is. I just didn't really use him either. And then Johnny Moore was probably not getting any minutes anyways. He was just there for the lineup pizzazz. But all around, man, that starting five on the all-time spurs not only has defense, but some insane offense, man. When Kawhi Leonard got his takeover, it was a GG. The step back three, the blocks he was getting, this Kawhi Kawhi is just built different and I, I I enjoyed using him a lot. I haven't used this Kawhi Leonard card except for a gameplay and once in like triple threat. So uh, yeah, it feels really good to use this finals MVP version of Kawhi. Definitely want to incorporate him in some more future squad builders. But uh, yeah, I had a ton of fun with it. Spurs fans, I hope I did you guys right by walking away with not only the dub but absolutely dominating with Ginobili, Duncan and them. I hope you guys did enjoy this gameplay. This is now going to be the end of the video. So as always guys, if you did enjoy the video, don't forget to leave a like and also don't forget to comment down below what other all-time teams you want to see next as well as any future squad builders you guys also want to see i am open to all suggestions but uh yeah with that being said guys if you're not subscribed already make sure you hit that sub button and join the blazion nation baby merch coming soon yeah that's right guys thank you for watching i hope you all have an awesome day and take care